you know there's always an uncertainty when you are doing these things like recording and all what's up youtube this is rear station here and this is going to be the very last episode of the first season of heavenly delusion also known as tengoku daimonkyo you know heavenly delusion is like the english thing like the regional sort of um uh, the like, title they went. I know it's a mistranslation, but whatever. So, to anyone who's still watching um, these reactions, yeah, I'm back to finish things up. Um, I do have to apologize about what happened um, with the previous uh, episodes' reactions. Um, I don't know how I've, I've been. I don't know how to really feel lately ever since I've been just relegating myself to recording just because I want to get things out. I don't know if it's really just helping anymore. I thought it initially worked out. And I don't know. I I haven't been I like the latest Ocean of Cold video. I don't even, I barely even got much, even though it was supposed to be a big episode. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just being lucky, but just, just recently, I, I feel like just because i'm just you know being down or no I'm not trying to force myself it's just coming out as boring i guess because not as much views i i really i don't really know what to say I, it's just my more it's my motivation levels and just preoccupied with other stuff like i i know i'm not in, in that sort of game i like i wish i would have i would be more um uh motivated to be a little more creative with things or try like but at the same time it's just like it's like a commit a commitment of sorts and i'm not so sure if i can really do that beyond just getting to the screen you know getting things up i know I, and 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 the fact that i know it's about put it's off putting that, that this isn't the best <laughs> recording place at all i I wish I could do something about that, but I don't think I can at the moment. Uh, I uh, I'm not in a good position, and you know, on my per you know, on, on a personal level, with no, um, just to say, in terms of like my personal shit and all. Uh, I know um, my guy uh, Chibi Reviews disclosed a bit on this, but a bit about his personal. Uh, struggles and all apparently there's some psychological the mental health issues and, and all that and uh i wouldn't say i'm my mental health is is anything particularly um ideal but i don't think i've gotten to the point where i need to see one yet uh but i i don't want i'm a little hesitant i'm too hesitant to want to disclose that myself uh like hey, you got it's just gotta know it's just that all i could just tell you is this that like when when i when when something big is big comes up like of course i'll try to let y'all know and that's just how it is uh, but i can only do so much i know i'm supposed to do some streaming maybe do like a, a summer preview but i'm also thinking about trying to write up a review for one particular show i know what, i'm pretty sure you guys can guess what it is i it is what it is, but there's a lot of things going on. So I'm a little discouraged. I'm very discouraged by the algorithm right now, by YouTube. Like it's just not helping on top of the other things. Maybe it'll bounce back, but I told I'm just gotta keep trying and try to hope this downturn will not continue. Uh, but I don't know. I, I can't trust YouTube nowadays. Anyways, back to Tango Good Diamond Kill. So this is gonna be last um I gotta be honest right now, like, as much as I, I don't have an issue, like, okay. So I, of course it's like, it's very irritating. It annoys me, it gets me angry to see what Robin, Robin turns out to be a, to be an asshole and all. But, as I don't have a, like, I, in terms of plot, I don't have a problem with the actual, the morality of that itself. Uh, I just have a problem with this, like, why does it have to be that direction? Even Diamond Monkey has a really weird, uh, 
thing in terms of like wanting to come forward with this um this this uh this th the thing with um labeling with putting forward this sort of uh how do you say this this uh this obsession with sort of like these uncomfortable uh sexual uh, or orientated sort of things but and i understand why they do that but at the same time like i feel like with Ron's case and i know he was a bad was bad news from the start but did if they did if they i'm not so sure if they if it really needs to uh, to if making him an actual fucking you know uh like just a just a scumbag like someone who just wants to rape just sexually assault this um that one guy's uh, sister like i don't i don't get it i like, do could have went with something else and would be totally fine capiche i don't know why it needs to be like that um or like yeah he thinks about it but we don't need to freaking see it and it's just it just rubs you the wrong it rubs you the wrong way and it's just like why does it need to be there it could just be like oh he was just uh, a ba a backstabbing asshole all this time you could have just put put it that way um need like it's, it's like by the way I'm the one who did or something like that but they didn't do that that's just like I'm not I'm not saying that's inherently a f inherently a bad thing that they did like inherently a bad thing that they went with this it's just like ah uh, you could have went with something else and that. it's not like the si it's sort of like a situation with um you know with a with a griffin from berserk or some other comparable thing but at the same time, it's also not, because it's just like, you could have went about with this one in a much more effective way. Um, I may, maybe I'm wrong with this, or, or supposedly wrong with this, but you should know, like, they could have just, there could have been other options they would have went with, and we would have been fine. But it is what it is. So yeah, and also uh, heaven broke. The kids are the, the kids are the lab is under attack, and it's kind of start. I like how things are trying to went back and forth with how shit hits the fan. And thanks to, to, to you know Ishi, the Toshimasa director of eighty six, you can see that there's some distinct camera work there that is reminiscent of eighty six. And because of the production, high production value, there's more to work with. Although I'm not gonna say that it was better than 86, it's just that they had more room, whereas with 86 they had, they 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 made as much as pa, they made the most out of things within the time and the resources they had. Um, I, so I, I prefer, I personally commend 86's. Uh, you know, side better personally, but that's just me. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this final episode, and uh, I feel like I'm not. And oh, yeah, into I'm. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're gonna head into a situation with this ending where I might not be really satisfied with what what happened there. Um. Yes, I'm a wrong reader, but I'm pretty sure I don't remember what exactly went down after this part. But, alright. No, in, in this part, they're gonna go. But yeah, let's uh, get to it. Alrighty, so... Hopefully I didn't download a dub version, by the way. All right, three, two, one, let's jam.
the show's been very good, but it just has something that just holds me back because it's not, because uh, for one, it's not the full package. Two, um, it doesn't have that one, it doesn't have that one big hurdle where, oh, I guess uh, I, it's a favorite of mine or like it's a worth nine or 10. No, the only thing that is like a nine or 10 is like that product, that would, you know, ridiculous product, ridiculously high production value. But everything else is like it's solid, but it's just, it's not quite there. That's all I say. Oh jeez! They fuck. They got out of fucking Alcatraz. It was reminiscent of like a lot of those retro shows where they got these, where they got these uh, fucking locked up, you know, contained contained circular facilities. Yo. Something like Neverland, but also like but Promise Neverland, but without the fucking uh, demons. I don't know why they just call them demons. It's so boring. Of, it's so boring a term now that I think about it. Oh yeah, they're not used to this temperature. This is so, like so fucking new to them that I like how they're just this is so alien to them because they've never been outside on the outside of the outside before they've never been outdoors they've always been just kind of raised in it's just literally been lab rats up until then up and like up until now so it's an interesting experience like how they're gonna how they're gonna get through this though. But we do know that uh, Mimi Hime and like and all those, those, from what we've seen in the in the in the present day, we know that they're the ones that have somehow like survived up to this up to that to a certain degree. So which one's tomorrow then? I mean, under the theory that Tokyo is Maru's mother. So, it's a flesh wound. So something may have happened in that situation where Maru, you know, the Noah project, where Maru was basically, um, where Maru just ends up, you know, being raised by someone else, the one who taught, the one who taught him all the, taught him everything, and then he would later go, go on to meet Kiriko, encounter Kiriko, like in that flashback. Oh, I remember playing that game. I used to lose every time. No, <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, damn. They still had those. The thing is, if she hasn't come back, he does he, if he doesn't come back the next day, you should know something's up. You can't just keep waiting, my guy. You should, uh, should have at least checked up.
they're doing this on purpose. They're being told to do this. They're being told to just keep everyone, keep anyone out of this. Don't mess with them. Let me throw you in too. Yep, now he's knowing something's up. I can't believe they oh Yeah, I punched back harder. <laughs> that was nothing to him. Wow. It's been like at least a few days just chained up there and just being raped every fucking night. At least every night. So that means so I could possibly mean like you're thinking you're just maybe you're just being it because she has the body and maybe they're maybe both of their you know conscious are being shared but it's mostly been Haruki's mind that's been the dominant active or the dominant the active one either that or she's kind of dorm, she's dormant but she's kind of there but because she's there, they slowly merge. Yeah, like when you see that look, that's not that's a look of something just very. I should have raised the biggest red flag. That he had to make that look. If he really cared about you, he wouldn't have made that look. Oh, wow. Oh, well, he knows who to beat up. Wow, just, just put on the rope, put on the coat on, nothing else underneath. I like this, I like the, I like the more emphasis on smears here with the movement. You're dead, bro. Please beat this man up. Please turn this turn this motherfucker into a pulp. Yeah? How about those guards you had? Doesn't even care about what you were saying. Yeah, where are you going? Yeah, where are you going? I said, where are you going? Yeah, good try. Bro, just kill him, please. Oh, come on. Finishing blow. The journey continues and begin. God, they had to leave us off like that.
She didn't want him to know about the, about her having twins. <laughs> Unless I missed something, like I'm guessing the other kids not gonna be Maru. If that's the case, then Maru has a has a twin out there that he needs to meet. What did he mean him alright? I'm not so sure if this was answered yet in the source material. Even if they, if they reached that point already. Oh! That old B. That old Hagrid's still alive? Wow. No, she's crazy, man. She... Oh, jeez. There's just a lot of red flags. Something's gonna happen. Oh, that's her power? Yeah? Okay. Oh! Hey, fucking... What is this? This, um... Who got... It reminds me of something, but I just can't... I just can't come up with the, the name, the reference. It just, it, the, the name just, like, just went past my head. Because he has a thing for you. The drawings are always so beautiful with with this series. Oh, found one. What the hell? They fell on something? Ow! Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot they're supposed to be pretty sturdy. <laughs> Still sturdier than the normal... Than, than the normal ch child. Way sturdier. <laughs> you guys are literally fucking X Men. Everyone's cut him up that. Oh, it's like pfft. it's like Ijigawa, but it's just like it's not even like just like fantasy. It's just like him actually wanting to do it. Remember, he said something like, "There's a hint like he wants to cut her up, cut her up, and all."
I'm not gonna say like, oh, that's yep, that pretty much confirms they were the ones that Hugo and Mama met back then. Oh, we're back here. What happened? Yeah, just tell. Did he just put a crack through that wall so casually? Just like that? Wow. Nice transition. That's a tough, that's a tough deal. Like, you should probably think like she, she, he should have died back, back then. Oh, for sure. You don't know? You've been, they've been around for, they've been, they've been together for quite a while. They've gotten around, you know, they've gotten each other back for a long time. They've, they've made up this farm. So, I have your back, you have my back, basically. I'm gonna move on. It's like that's your that was that was your destination, but it turns out to be what you didn't think it'd be. Now what? Where do you go from here? I mean, they still gotta search for that duck for that other that old dude. Hmm. Oh, so they're about those they're about to get raided anyways well it's actually kind of good that they just got out of there that the two got out of there while they're while they still could oh what do you Ooh. They were hiding that. All the... Oh, he, he, yeah, he's so much as gone. He skid that. I hate that. I hate that this guy got spared.
Who's supposed to be the guard here? I'm just... Oh, yeah. I forget, they, that shit's always faulty. We're making a dramatic exit. <laughs> But actually, I think I've seen, um, I may have seen preview images from this episode of what, a few weeks ago, which, <laughs> which means that they were long done with this damn production for, oh, Jesus, sorry. Why did I not turn off uTorrent? I'm sorry, guys. Oh, well, that kind of also means discarded. Password. Oh, wait. Oh, this was before. So I'm guessing. So this was not during the collapse. This is probably before the whole collapse began. So I would just end up there, the same place where, you know, our two main characters are, you know, Going about, going around, but around and about right now. So yeah. Sorry about that interruption. I my fault for not uh, closing um for not closing this uh, goddamn fucking new torrent, which just decides to pop up with some promotion that I'm not even fucking interested in. That was good. <sighs> As good as this was, there's there's one thing I'm very irked about, and they really toned down every toned down a little too much regarding trying to dealing with Robin. He just basically got away. I mean, yeah, he got he got a few punches here, here and there, but he just got away. He let him off. I didn't like that. Kyogo just said, don't kill him. I understand why. Because the last, because a few episodes ago though, Maru was, Maru was, you know, when he, when he meet, you know, present day Mimihime and Shiro, and you know, so she would kill himself and all. And basically, you know, basically he's just like, my hands are only for killing. He does, I think that's also, I don't think Hiro said that to defend Robin. She's saying that to defend Maru's mentality. <sighs> it sucks. Now that I think about it, it really sucks that I should have thought about it during that point. <sighs> so my bad. My bad on that. But it's still it's still um it's still unnerving that Robin just gets away, uh, you know. Kind of scot, well, not quite scot free, but he just gets away without as much consequence. I mean, his place did get raided, and apparently he was raising a fucking man eater. Great. So basically, I'm guessing Kiko would have been the next victim for that thing. Maybe that's what I'm. That's what I'm guessing because the that that the last that last dinner it ha that man eater had was apparently a woman or maybe I don't. Know. It's just... <laughs> I kind of get why they just closed the door. They didn't have a weapon. They weren't ready to deal with a fucking man-eater at that moment. Like, I don't know if they have. If anyone at, you know, other than Mao had anything to really deal with that thing. With these things. Because man are apparently pretty resistant to conventional uh, weaponry. Well, most conventional weapon three. So, I'm. So I'm not so sure who was the. So I'm guessing Maru's the one that Tokyo has within her possession right now, and then the old lady wants, 
or is it the other way around and like maybe we're gonna see him with that baby later on like mom maybe have to meet him meet him or her or something uh <laughs> there's so much to, the there's a there's the drawback i do want to think they put too much they put a little too many more too many questions and answers so you're just like so that's why i want to get back to oh we don't get quite the full package because at the very least even if we don't if we know a story is continuing we at least want things we want we feel like things a little bit more wrapped up in at least in terms of like the art like a stand not completely standalone like with a certain uh but with certain um key plot points like if there's like a big main plot point that of course needs more time or the main stroke the, the the continuous the continuation of the narrative i get it i get it <sighs> like in any other world I would, this would have been an animated season for me but there's a lot of things about it that really really kind of pull it back for me and it's like ah uh, i might die i'm not quite into that one i like it i like what it has it's good it's fantastic production value and all and it has some and it has good enough material to go with it but it just doesn't feel like there's quite enough to make it like oh it's 10 out of 10 it's a masterpiece whatever the hell most of like it's an intriguing one for sure i am sad that disney picked it up so it doesn't get as much fucking re you know recognition outside you know compared to shows picked up by country roll and uh, i don't want to talk about country roll's bullshit right now <laughs> that's a whole thing kind of, again that's a whole can of worms that i don't want to open up but yeah i, I really like this show regardless of my nip regardless of my so some of the qualms i have in the end i am i like what i enjoy i like what i see there was just that the, the, the one that just completely irked me and i know it's just the uncomfortable but again my problem wasn't the act the morality of that itself the morality of that sh of that part itself you know sexual assault and rape is a very 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 delicate topic to to even you know remotely discuss my issue was my personal issue with it was was it necessary could y'all just went in another way i've had this sort of weird ass argument with uh, with uh, someone else saying oh they need it they completely need there's no other they were like it was implying like they didn't probably say i don't remember if they said it directly but there's it's, it's implied that they're saying they're saying there's no other way they could have went about with it with this but the body transfer and all and that robin because he was a he was um a black you know he was a prop he was a red flag when he was first introduced in the flashback for the way he likes to beat up people that's another thing and, and you know that's one thing but for ramen to just have this sort of obsession in that regard that i i, I don't agree with that choice i didn't it's a very it's very I, I i still believe it was unnecessary i'm not saying it was inherently bad it's an inherently bad choice but it was not i don't think it was one of the better i don't think it was you know necessarily the best choice for that point and then of course my other things you know and of course like of course it's not the uh, one of the other not the only main issue or the only notable issue like i said before like it doesn't there's a full package there's not enough kind of scratch you know it still feel like there's too many loose ends i know it's a season one don't get me wrong we're not gonna get season two for a long while i'm sorry we're not <laughs> regardless of whether or not they have enough source material for it you can already tell this is gonna take at least two years to fucking make <laughs> Uh, remember Spider-Man, the Spider-Man verse movies. I think both of them. I don't know if I don't know if, or if it's just one of them. Apparently, they needed at least four fucking years of pre-production and and production. 
Well, actually, just production, I'm pretty sure, but... And even then, it's still... I heard it was still not there. I wouldn't say it was everything was absolute perfection in the end. But I mean, it is like a fucking hundred million dollar uh, project of from what I heard. I, um, yes, I'm, I'm many. I, I have not seen that film yet. Uh, I'm not too inclined. Like I'm interested, but I'm not too inclined. I know, like people are just egging me. No people come. You know, people are just gonna be egging me on. Like please, you know, watch your or your, your track. Like uh, when I'm in, when I'm interested enough in it, I will. Though I'm, I'm not obligated by it anyone else to, to watch it unless I feel like it and the thing and there's also like this stigma with me regarding non-anime shows nowadays and how I haven't found myself really investing in those you know in the recent years I tried I tried a few times like I'll watch it maybe a movie or two uh, maybe now and then but that's about it, about it. but back to this back to this series it's great. It's very really good. Like, it's a recommendation for sure. Unless it's just too squeamish. It has a lot of intri- the mysteries, intriguing, the humor. The humor is a little. It's a little hit and miss. I mean, well, I, like I love Ocean of Cove and I like this one, and, but I know for that, like the humor is pretty hit or miss. And I feel like this one can also hit or miss. It's just like okay, we. We didn't need that. There was times where I feel like the the humor just is a little like it's a little too out of hand. Like I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just like yeah, we don't need to stress too much on that. But um, I mean, they're in a show where um, in a show where they they're literally trying to struggle to survive or try to go. You know, perceive the unknown. A little humor doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. A little humor every now doesn't hurt. That's that's all there. That's all there is to it. Um, as spe- as they're just complaining about whatever in the back about air conditioning and all, even though it's like literally hot as hell over over here. I don't know why it's six. Why it says sixty degrees here, but it feels like freaking eighty. Uh, oh, uh, I mean, it's humid, so. Human usually makes things a lot harder, but yeah, um, it was a really good show, and um, production IG really just got as much resources as they could, and maybe, may, while this may not be the best fucking series, ep, you know, show ever, one of the more better ones in terms of at least a production standpoint, or at least, or probably one of the probably one of the best we've gotten so far especially in a especially in like an eight in an era where we where for better or worse the entertainment industry is just prioritizing quantity over quality and for and i get why they do this but it's just like yeah we don't need it if we're not yeah i'm pretty sure you're you're just you're you're a dumb like a bunch of them are just the hires are just mostly dumbass if they think they could still continue to make money when they're just losing money, just making all these, the, just shilling out just mostly junk at the same time. <laughs> it's just, I'm just like, why? But then I get, I get, um, why, like, passion projects may not really, you know, get the dollar bills in. But, uh,. It goes. It goes to show. Like there, there, there's, a, there's a reason why it, you don't like it, but like you can understand why they don't go with it. Like you know, why? Why do you think those retro OVAs we back in the days? Why are they not as? Why is those sort of things not as common anymore? Because they don't rake in the the. Because they don't rake in the revenue. They just don't. <laughs> I mean, but uh, you know, you know, good. Yeah. But this was all good. It's a good. Sh- this is this is just at least, at least it's very good. I recommend it. Um, again, unless if you're the sque- the most squeamish motherfucker in the world. And we'll get season two for sure. 
I mean, there were some spoilers from a reliable leaker, allegedly. I mean, it was gonna hap- I mean, I'd hope it happened, but at the same time, I hope it doesn't pull Neverland. <laughs> we don't- like, again, I don't want to talk about that horrendous fanfic that was- that just- this, that just, you know, it, that just portrays, you know, that it's just advertised as this season two when it's not. Is this what the fuck is a what the fuck is this sort of th this sort of thing? Like, it was like a really a really something akin to a really devoted project from season one, regardless of how I felt about that one. And then they shell out that a little a few years later, and you're just like, what was the point? <laughs> I, I guess like again, they probably had a plan, and you just. And and they just come, and in the end, things just fell apart because it just couldn't be on the same page. I hope it doesn't happen for Heavenly Delusion when it gets that sequel. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking for. But that's all I got. All I have to say. Otherwise, it's like it's a solid show, but it's not without the notable issues that you know kind of hold it back from being up there with. The other, you know, popular stuff like Vinland Saga, like, <laughs> or, um, Ojoko, or, um, even, like, uh, what else is there from the season that is pretty high up? Uh, I say, like, uh, oh yeah, upcoming, like, the upcoming one, then one, Mishoku Tensei, um, Jujutsu Kai, like, those bigger names. Like, and maybe, maybe if this went on, went on something else other than Disney, maybe it would have had a better rep, but I don't know. It, it, I mean, depending on where the story is at right now or what it's going to have later on in the season two, it might get there. But until then, it's just all a show. And but maybe, maybe a little niche. But it's maybe, but I still like it can be accessible for anybody who's a, who's an avid anime fan who would like this sort of stuff. I mean, I feel like even the 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 ones that are the ones that are more into classics would like the aesthetics, at least the aesthetics of this one. But, I mean, that's just my guess, but that's all really. But uh, that's what I gotta say though about that regarding that. My final score for this is like. It was at least an 8 out of 10. Um, I enjoyed it better than... I enjoyed it more than... Um, season 1 of Promise Neverland. Honestly. Promise Neverland Season 1... You know, as tight as it was claimed to be... Had many issues. I had a good number of issues with that one. Even though I did enjoy it... In, in, to, some, to, a good, to some decent degree. It's not like I think it was completely bad or anything. It's just... Uh, just a lot of issues I had with that looking back at things But uh, yeah Other than that, like yeah, I just Saw the show what what a hell of a what a hell of a surprise this was I mean the trailer just kind of spoiled like how nice looking it was with gonna with the visuals the animation and all that especially the direction just gets you immersed into things and Yeah, like I hope I'm still active by when season two does come. But that's the but that'll do it any otherwise. Um So yeah, it's gonna So yeah, smash the like button, let me know what you think in the comments below. Follow me on YouTube follow me on Twitter, support the Discord <laughs> support the channel, join the Discord server, share the video around all the good stuff. Uh, but uh yeah, that's a, that'll about do it for for this, uh, for Tengoku Diamond Kyo. And yeah, hopefully that season 2 will come. You know, no, I mean, I don't want to come, have it come way too soon. You know, when it, when it does, it does. You know, when it needs to, it does. I mean, it, it's hard to get that sort of, that level of, that, that, you know, that level of production, you know, that sort of lineup they had with the staff and all that. Anyways. 
Research and signing off. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe, y'all. Have a great day. Peace.